you have to know that different people have different results from food because you see people eating much more than you eat who are slender and in the body condition that they want. So you have to know and you say, well, it's metabolism. We say blah, 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 blah. Whatever you want to call it, it is the energy balance in your body. And so it does not matter how much you do if you're vibrationally pointed upstream, your doing isn't going to get you the results. That's why your metabolism is slow. That's why your body holds on to what you do not want. You're pointed upstream in it, you see. So once you start playing the game, so you're downstream, 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 then not only will the inspiration about what to do be easier and easier, but you're going to discover that you don't have that many things you have to do differently because the things you are doing differently have got you in a different vibrational stance and that different vibrational stance is causing your response to food to be different than it has been before. Your metabolism will kick up when you're pointed downstream. We're not kidding you. It feels like if you really, really want something. So the energy is really, really moving fast. Yeah. And the I wanted it. The harder I try, the worse it gets. And that's the feeling that we're, that's the feeling that we want you to identify here. The fact that I'm trying so hard means I'm really pointed upstream. So it isn't that there are certain foods that you must eat and therefore you will get results. It is that you can't eat something that you believe will make you fat and be slender. In other words, it's about your vibrational energy balance. So as you start doing those things that you believe that you need to do and you do them with ease, your resistance begins to resolve. And so then what happens is more ideas flow to you begin to get results. You begin to notice that the weight is coming off. You begin to get into the flow of it. You begin to feel better. Your energy increases. You want to move more. And then you get on the scale, which you haven't done for 30 days, and you say, wow, 15 pounds? And I wasn't doing any of that hard stuff. I was doing only the stuff that felt good. And look at the results I'm getting. And we say the results that you will get are because of your energy alignment. But so let's talk about the components of this process. What really is it? It's about using action to improve vibration. And we think it is a good human technique because what you usually hear from us is clean up your vibration and, don't, and, and then follow through with inspired action. But this, these things that, are, that have you by the throat, these things like your body, you know, your body is a hard thing to control in, when it gets out of balance because you take it everywhere you go. So how your body looks and how your body feels is a big part of your vibration. So, and the same thing with money. Money affects you all day, every day. And so when you apply these actions that make you feel a little better, what happens is the action then drives the improvement in the energy and the improvement in the energy then inspires more action and the action drives the improvement in the energy and the improvement in the energy and then you start feeling motivated from the inside and motivation from the inside is what we call inspiration. Food is my friend. You have to come into alignment. You have to, you must be your friend. You've got, you've got to start doing things that make you feel better and, and that's where this keeping my promise to myself comes in. And the promise to myself is when, when you're not happy in your body with the way it feels or the way it moves or the way it looks, you're launching further and further rockets. So the worse you feel in your body, the more you ask for and the higher your vibration and when your vibration shifts, your body will become the way you want it to. Mm -hmm.